Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to our office energy makeover. And I'm here with Laura Lee Clark. And she has graciously allowed us to witness her first hammer and nail experience. My first hammer and nail experience, period, right? Right. Ever. So so she's like, this is the part I've been avoiding. And I have a confession. I have to tell you, I've never hammered a nail into the wall. And so I said, okay, we've got to bring everybody else back because, because these are the little things that keep us from our greatness, right? It's like, right. I don't, I'm not really sure how to do this or I don't. I would need to ask somebody else to come over and I don't know who that would be and I'm too busy and so we never do it. So Laura, <laughs> you are inspiring and empowering just a multitude. I have my trusty hammer. Well, <laughs> See? It's I not mean, mine. I mean, it's not mine because I don't use these things. But <laughs> we, we could be opening up a whole new level for you. Really. Yeah. And, and and hammer is symbolic. Happened. Yeah, like once I learn how to hammer, hammer a nail into a wall, I, I might be able to fix things and, you know, I, I could be the next budding engineer. And I exactly. just didn't know it. Exactly. Infinite possibilities yeah. are going to open up. <laughs> okay, so, so Laura, the most Laura, important the thing important is to have a little bit of the nail up from your fingers so you don't hammer on your fingers, right? All right. <laughs> So what I do, what I do honestly, is I hold the canvas up on the wall where I want to hang it, and then yeah. I put my finger kind of under the, you know, under here. Yeah. And then I take the canvas away, and then my finger is where I want to hammer the nail on the wall. Can I can I draw on the wall? Sure, sure. of course. Because I'm just thinking like logistically, I'm going to be all fingers and thumbs because I need to get the canvas up. And then somehow keep my finger there while I grab the hammer and nail. So right. right. So for any of you, for any of you left brainers, you're gonna want to have you know a ruler or something handy. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm gonna help Laura eyeball it, and uh, we're gonna be good. I, I think I'd probably freak out if we made it that complicated. Right. Okay. So about there, do you reckon? That looks great. Okay, so I'm going finger underneath. Oh, it slipped. Or you can make just a thin mark at the very top of the canvas, like top center. Okay. And then we'll just move the nail down. Like the Where's the middle? Is that the middle? That looks like the middle. Okay. Do you know, my mom took great delight when I was a kid in telling my physics teacher, who thought that I was a genius, by the way, she told them on a few occasions, actually, about me opening a tin of corned beef. So I don't know if you guys have corned beef in the US. Um, right. And it's kind of pyramid shaped. So it's thinner at one end and thicker at the other. And it's right. square. And normally you get a key that comes with it. And you have to, like, hook it onto the, the actual bit that they've allocated. The key was missing on this particular occasion. I was only little, I was like eight or nine or something. And so I used a tin opener, because of course, why wouldn't you? It's a tin, right? Right. And right. Um, he came into the kitchen when I was struggling to get the meat out and it wouldn't come out no matter what I did. And it's because I'd opened the thin end rather than the thick end. So since then, I've always thought I have no practical ability. So I stayed completely clear of practical stuff, right? Isn't that interesting? Wow. So we're we're like we're unpacking some um, deep limiting beliefs here. Yeah, absolutely. I just feel like you ought to know the gravity of what's going on here. I, I'm I am very grateful for that. Thank you. <laughs> Two so you so you see the line and then you know behind the canvas, right, is there's the lip where it's um about that big where it's been stretched. So just move the nail down a little bit from the line, you know, like an inch and a half. I'm oh, sorry, we're in, oh, no, you're English system. We still use inches. Yeah, so, I, I um, recommend you put an inch Yeah, so like an inch and a half down from the middle and just tap the nail in so that about an inch of the nail is sticking out, a little less than an inch. Here we go, folks, first. Oh my God, the, the wall feels funny. It's okay.
Don't be afraid to tell that nail who's boss. <laughs> Is it in? It's in. It's in. Okay. I don't know how long it'll stay in though. How how I much is the nail in? Like at least yeah. half of the nail? Yeah, I reckon. Hang okay. on, let me compare it to one of the others. Because I've forgotten how long it went now. Uh it could go a little more. It's not straight. Go a little more. That's it's okay. Straight, it's, never it? straight. it's never straight. It's never straight. Okay. It doesn't matter. It's all gone in. <laughs> That's okay. You can just pull it back out now. Do we pull it out a little bit. Just with your fingers, probably. Because you're not in a stud, obviously. Okay. All right. We're good. Perfect. Yeah. Great. Now hang the canvas up there so we can, you know, start to see the transformation. All right. Here we go, folks. Her first. And it's standing! Yeah, we did it! High five! Thank you! Bye -bye. <laughs> Excellent! Awesome! Just Perfect. Now, now hang that, um, your future peacock feather underneath your Doctor Who. So Laura Sorry? started a peacock feather. Your peacock feather painting, you can hang it right oh. under your Doctor Who. Yeah, right. Okay. Let me move my gym ball out of the way. <laughs> That's my alternate office seat. Right. Right. So an added benefit um, of doing this is that you do end up, you know, reorganizing some, some things and tidying mm -hmm. things up, which is always good energy, good feng shui for your life and your business. Um, so the energetic makeover goes beyond the canvas to the piles and maybe the overstuffed drawers that have been longing for your creative attention. So um, Laura has a peacock feather painting started because that's a powerful symbol. That looks about the middle. Yep. T tell us what a peacock feather represents. Well, um, peacocks um, are a, a symbol that helps to create pride, right? So like proud as a peacock. Um, and it's also um, .com website. Um, the peacock is about uh, great for third chakra for self esteem. Okay, Ooh. so um, really showing your beauty to the world, right? Like showing off your um, your work, your um, your passion. Whatever it is that you like to communicate to the world, the peacock is um, is great energy for that. And of course, um, peacock feathers have been a symbol of kind of luxury and royalty um, for a long time. We all love peacock feathers. So the peacock is going to, besides bringing like the fortune, it's also going to help infuse your space with the confidence to show off you know what you do to the world because you can't serve the greater good if you're not letting us know right what it is that you do um so other words that are attached um to the peacock um is uh, it's an emblem of love and good luck and also the um the design in the peacock feathers you know the tops uh that Laura started looks like an eye. So it's like the peacock has all of these eyes. So it addresses our ability to see things um, kind of beyond uh, the physical, right? To see the more subtle energies um, or to see into different dimensions. So it's about increasing your levels of sight and vision as well. So, Laura, that looks great. I think they're off a little bit. Right. So if you moved, right, if you moved the left, the blank one, maybe move the nail over a little bit to allow a little more room. The, this one. Yeah. Right. Because the peacock one, with, so take the blank one down and then see if you can get the peacock feather centered. I think the nail's in the wrong place because it feels like. 
a bit on back. Does, does that look equal? It does, it does look equal. It does? Yeah. On either side of the... It doesn't look like it's straight though, does it? No, so it... Slide it a little more to your left. See, it's yeah. like if I slide it that way, then it goes that <laughs> way. The nail needs to be further over, I think. Yeah, so the nail needs to be moved over a little bit. Uh, can you pull? Can you pull that one out easily? Yeah. So, like an inch over. Yeah. Gosh. <laughs> so tape measure might be a good tool for everyone to have handy, right? When you're now you tell me. <laughs> no, sorry. I know this is. You're my guinea pig here. The first live Google Hangout energy office equipment. So I um brought out some new paintings for part two as well, just for fun. Um, this is a dream catcher. We all love dream catchers. I love connecting to that native indigenous wisdom. Um, and then the deer and the fox here, these are two of my animal totems. The deer is is um, one of my primary totems, my lifetime totem, and the fox is my sacred symbol for 2015. Um, but I painted this painting a little while ago before 2015 when I was running and I actually startled a fox and a deer that were like hanging out together it was like being in a disney movie and they scampered off yeah so um so i had to paint it because it was such a magical it was one of those moments where i'm like i'm not in a disney movie i don't think it was really fun yeah so the deer um energy is about unconditional love and gentleness um which first and foremost for yourself right um, and then Fox is about like the cunning and the creativity and independence, you know, striking out on your own trail. They also aim their bodies like arrows when they see something that they're going to hunt. So um, the arrow was my symbol for 2014. Fox found me for 2015 to continue that arrow energy, but with added cunning and creativity and intelligence. So, if I'm ever feeling not intelligent, I call in my boss. I know you all have those moments, right? When you're like, really? I don't think I can do this. So, box is helpful. <laughs> so, we're, we, we're intentionally focusing on Laura's blue wall because she does spend a lot of time um, on video uh, interviews and, and sessions and teachings like this. So we want to have the space behind her where she's sitting very energetically reflective of who she is and the energy that she wants to share with the world. So for this demonstration, we're focusing on the makeover of this blue wall. Um, you can only imagine. How, how's that going? Yeah. Is this is this the right distance for the, to match the other side? Because now we, we see, I hadn't realized this when we started, but we're not right. just matching one against another. We have to match them all against each other, right? Right, right. Um, so, so that's awesome. So you put that other nail in there without even... No, no, we're not. We haven't. Yeah. So you're holding on. Okay, I'm good. Holding it. <laughs> right. So, it's, so I right. think we want... See the, the amount of space that's between the middle canvases? Yeah. Top, the top and bottom of the middle? I think we want that much on the side, you know, between like the edge of the peacock painting and the blank canvases. Yeah, so we, we want to move that. Yeah, we wanna yeah, move it. Over. Uh, to that? Perfect, that's perfect. Okay. So does that look like the middle? Can you see this side? Does that look like the middle? Yes, that looks like the middle. Okay. Cool. Like that much. Like uh, that much. Okay, so we're going to have to move this one. Yeah, over a little bit. All right. <laughs> I can do that, that now. Right. This is live TV, reality TV, but it's finest. So once Laura gets this up, when she's, she's 
do is she's going to um, create a first layer. So for example, when you decide to do this and you hang your canvases up, you may have all blank canvases, right? So you're going to get all your blank canvases hung up already. And then I'm going to give you the instruction and the guidance to create um, a first layer. So the first layer is where you just get to play and have fun. Because if you're having fun with whatever you're doing, then that's a good thing, right? You've got to be having fun. So this first layer is all about just noodling and dripping and scraping into the first um, layer to get rid of the blank canvas. Here's another example of a first layer with um, squares of fabric and paper and gold leaf. Right, and so I will paint something over this. On this um, mirror painting, if you look closely, you can see I used one of my um, sacred symbol stencils. I have a line of stencils that's virtual that you can find at WhitneyFreya.com. And so I stenciled lots of, um, of these own symbols on the canvas, and I did a lot of just this kind of doodling. And then I painted the deer and the fox over. So what happens is when you do a lot of um, make marks on the first layer in in a way that is super fun and has a lot going on. So every space on the canvas has a lot going on. Then when you go to paint your final symbol, which this is a painting in progress. So see all of this done is making the final painting very simple so um, the next step after hanging up your blank canvases is to play on the blank canvas and then we come in during our full day um, experience and um, that's when we consciously choose the images and the symbols that you want on those canvases so Laura that looks awesome look at that how exciting Wow, and yes. you just created a whole new vibration around your handiness and your ability to engineer your home <laughs> upgrades and repairs. I'll be changing light bulbs and everything next. <laughs> wow, this is awesome. This is so cool. I, I like this. And like, th there's something energetic that happens when it hits the right place. Like when, when yes. it gets balanced, it just kind of, it's almost like pops into place. Right, right. That is awesome. Great. So what we'll continue to do with Laura is um, continue in the, the next wall would be the wall that you're looking at, right? Um, yes. To make sure that what you're looking at is really feeding you um, positive energy and affirmation, right? And, yeah. um, and then we'll go to the, the sides. So um, this is awesome. I'm very excited. Awesome. And I showed people examples of first layers and everything. So that's, that's what we'll have, um, have you do next on those canvases hanging up. So you, in other words, you can paint, um, you can paint this first layer without knowing what it is you're going to paint on this. I don't know what this canvas is going to be. Oh, wow. It could be anything. But what it's got now is a lot of fun and energy and color um, so that then when I go to paint the symbol, right, it's already really alive and it becomes more of a recognizing the piece as it emerges. And then like, once I get the Buddha, um, more of the lights and darks in, he's already fascinating because of everything going on underneath. So it takes a lot less effort right um yeah. to create the finished piece so this first layer a lot of people they just don't know where to start mm. but the starting literally um dripping like these effects here come about because i painted with the paint and when it was pretty dry just about it could even feel dry to the touch i dripped water and let the water set for a couple minutes and then wiped it off with a paper towel or like I'll lay a paper towel on it gently and just soak up the paint and then you get all of that fun highlights oh, nice. right and you just are like Whoo, you know, this is scraping shapes in with the end of the paintbrush and just layering and layering and layering 
So this becomes very meditative as well. Um, so you're creating all of this like relaxing, fun energy in your space just through these first layers. Love it. And then, then we decide. I hope you decide um, or remember what it is you want to paint in your space. Very cool. Okay, time to get painting then. Yeah. Right. <laughs> exactly. Right. You're all set. How much fun is this? Mara, thank you so much for bringing us into your sacred space that is your office and um, for allowing us to uh, link arms with you as you embrace a whole new world of being able to wield the hammer. <laughs> thank you, Whitney. I mean, this has been fun, but also very enlightening. I, I don't, I wouldn't have done this had you not said, come on, let's get on Skype and uh, on, on hang out and do it. So thank you. This has been awesome. That's exactly it. So, and that's such a good point. Like, absolutely. You could go and do your own energetic office makeover and for sure, like show a before after picture and tag me on Facebook. Or if you start doing it and you begin to realize, like Laura just said, okay, I'm never going to get this done if I don't engage, if I don't, you know, spend some of that energetic money and um, get some help so that I can hold you accountable, really help you pick. Um, um, I can intuit or teach you how to receive the symbol that you want around you. Um, so if I can help you get to creating the space that you want in your office or another significant space in your home, um, please reach out to me. I love to help. Great. Thank you, awesome. Laura. Thanks, Whitney. You're amazing. Talk soon. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.